These pink masses are a clear sign an invasion is underway. The eggs belong to apple snails, which are prolific breeders and are causing major problems for crawfish farmers. Female snails can lay one egg mass about every week in the summertime, and each one of those egg masses can have anywhere from 200 to up to 1,000 eggs. For crawfish farmers, apple snails can become so numerous it is no longer profitable to fish some of their ponds. They're clogging up the crawfish traps, competing with crawfish for food, and really slowing down the, the operations where uh, the farmers will have to sort through every uh, trap capture to pick out the snails and separate them from the crawfish. Wilson is looking at some chemical control methods to reduce the number of snails, but the catch is these methods must not be harmful to crawfish. It's, it's really gonna be uh, a lot of research involved in, in kind of dialing in what rates and products might be safe for the crawfish and still effective in controlling snails. Wilson says if you encounter any of these egg masses, they should be knocked into the water to keep from hatching. But it must be done carefully. Don't use your bare hands. Uh, the toxin in those egg masses can irritate your skin and cause you more discomfort, particularly if it gets in your eyes or your mouth. While edible, the snails must be carefully prepared because they carry a parasite that can lead to meningitis. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Otro reporting.